Greetings folks, Toid Proper here bringing you yet another in my series and I'm bringing you yet another unboxing. The Tangfolio Witness Polymer Compact Chambered in 40 Smith & Wesson. Oh my God. You know, have you ever had guns where you've waited for like one year, two years, three years, you've been looking at this one specific gun and you're like, well, I'll get it. No, no, maybe I won't. This is what that is right here. I've done that for three years. I've tried to get this gun like for three years and a variety of different times. And finally, here it is. The Tangfolio Witness Polymer Compact. And I do believe on the Tangfolio site, they refer to this gun as the Tangfolio Force Polymer Pro. But anyway, this is the compact model. And this is what's in the box, which by the way, this is not an actual unboxing. I did have to inspect it at the FFL, but here it is now. And what's in the box, as you know, a lock. There's always a lock. This will go in a box somewhere because I have a safe. The firearm itself, the Youth Handgun Safety Act notice, and the instruction manual, which you know, I'm gonna read this from front to back. Wink, wink. And it comes with a couple cleaning brushes, one very stiff wire one, and a regular nylon bristle one. So that's pretty cool. And an Allen wrench for adjusting your sights. Windage and elevation. So that's pretty nice. And for the price, check out Bud's Guns, folks. For the price, it is really outstanding. So let's put away this other crap. By the way, this box here, all right, when they first brought this box out, I was in there thinking, are they bringing me an LCP? I'm not used to getting boxes this small. I'm used to getting boxes this small when I get a handgun. This is for the uh, M&P series pistols for Smith & Wesson, just to use as a size comparison. So when I see the guy bringing this little thing out, it reminds me of one of those little clutch purses, which made me wonder if it's going to match my shoes. But... I was like, wow, what are they bringing me? Are they bringing me an LCP or a TCP 30, 380 or something? Well, I mean, but no, not to be. This gun took up most of the room inside the box, as you see. But here it is. This is a very nice gun for the money. Okay, so far, so good. Folks, I haven't shot it yet. But for the money, this is a very good gun. Of course, it is polymer. And it is compact. And to give you some idea about size, you know when you look at guns on the internet and you always look at them and you think, oh my God, I can't really tell what size that gun is or the gun looks huge or something like that. This is one such example. The pictures on the internet do not adequately give you a good forecast of how big the gun actually is until you get it in your hands. But as you can see, it just fits in my hands really nice. Let me adjust my lighting here. It just fits in my hands nicely. All of my fingers are right on here. This feels a lot like my SAR V6P Compact. And in size, we'll go ahead and lay it down like this. And we'll lay the Glock 19 down like this. Right? So really, from slide to everything it's about the same size as the Glock 19. If the Glock 19 had its magazine in it would be just as tall as this pistol. So basically this is a 12 round 40 caliber pistol about the same size as the Glock 19. Width pretty close it's about as close in width as you can get to the Glock 19 with the exceptions of the protrusions on the side it's pretty close. So very nice I did a function check of the pistol when I got it, and it seems to be functioning very well. 12 round magazine, made in Italy. And uh, this is based on a CZ design, so as you can see, the slide rise inside the frame moves very smoothly. And I imagine once I shoot this thing a few times, it'll even ease up even more. But so far, so good. This is the second gun in the Tangfolio format that I've had because I did have a MAP-1 from Rock Island Armory, which I firmly believe is also 10 folio because it has the exact same um, grips, the exact grip pattern, exactly the same. 
So I just got to believe that they're putting Rock Island Armory's name on a tank folio. But be that as it may, this is an outstanding pistol. You guys know how I feel about black and stainless. Yes. And this gun also, by the way, this is not a decocker model. So this is just a safety, which seems to engage and disengage very easily. Very decisively, but very easily. Safety's on, safety's off, and it's a good trigger pull. Just a tiny little bit of take up. And the reset. Oh my God, that's nice. I'm not one of those reset queens, but that's pretty nice. So basically, I can't wait to take this thing and go shoot it. Let's spin it and give it a good look here. Very nice. Let me adjust the lighting here a little bit. Quite nice. So this is it so far. There will be more on this gun, of course. There will be some range footage and an actual review uh, coming up in the distant future. The EAA Witness Polymer Compact. So far, so good. As you can see, it's right about the same size as the Glock 19. That is the role that I wanted for this 40 Smith & Wesson. I wanted it to be compact, and it is. Um, it doesn't feel very much heavier than the Glock 19, although I'm going to guess it's about 3 or 4 ounces heavier than the Glock 19. I should look at those specs and find out if that's what it is, but that's what it feels like. Very nice. It appears to have some good sights. 3 dot. I am anxious to shoot this. So anyway, folks, that's it. This is the EAA Witness Polymer Compact. I'm glad I have it. You're glad I have it. So everybody go out and get you one. Bud's Guns, by the way, 90-day layaway. But that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. I'm Too Improper. My email address is scrolling across the bottom of the screen as we speak right now. That's improper at gmail.com. Write, and I will answer you, provided you are polite and I have the time. Thanks for watching, folks. God bless America, and keep on protecting your families and yourselves, regardless of what this administration is incessantly trying to do. There's nothing wrong with protecting your families and yourselves. I can't imagine who wouldn't. It's always the right thing to do.